There's a beautiful verse in the book of Isaiah that tells us that God forms us in his very hands. Yet you, Lord, are our Father. We are the clay, you are the potter. We are all the work of your hand. God is our potter, and we are his clay? To understand this better, let's take a look at what a potter does. The potter must first decide what to make. He could shape a plate, a bowl, or even a vase. Next, the potter has to choose the clay. Some potters say this is the first and most important step. There are many different clays to choose from, depending on what the potter is going to create. The potter must choose well. And then the potter gently places the clay on the wheel. This can be a difficult step because it takes lots of practice and skill. While the clay is on the wheel, the potter must focus on form. The potter uses the wheel and his hands to push and pull the clay to form the shape he desires. The potter must be careful because the pottery could crumble at the wrong touch. After the potter is happy with the shape, he fires the pottery in a kiln. The hot temperature in a kiln takes out any water from the clay. The result is unglazed pottery. After the clay is hardened and cooled from the kiln, it's time to paint the pottery with glaze. To create a smoother surface, the potter can use sandpaper to make the sides smoother for paint. Once the piece has been painted just like the potter wants it, he heats it again in the kiln to melt the glaze. This creates a seal around the object. After all these steps, the potter can sit back and admire his creation. Something so beautiful can come from a lump of clay. We are God's creation. The Bible describes God as the potter, and we are the clay. God takes our lives into his holy hands and forms us into his masterpieces. Yet you, Lord, are our Father. We are the clay, you are the potter. We are all the work of your hand.